May the 8th, MTD versus Fanuc. Andy, you're the player manager of the team. Now, um, what do you think of Paul Jones? Paul Jones, the, the manager? Oh, mm. shocking. Uh, you can't motivate his players. He's, he's an absolute dreadful motivator. Um, and, you know, it's just going to play right into our hands. You know? Andy, I heard them talking about you the other day, saying how horrendous you are. You know, that's not, it's not good banter, is it really? Not really. It's not very good form. You know, I don't know where they get that from. You know, we've played football for many years. I, I don't think they've got any evidence of that at all. Well, you know, you've got Joe the jug Juggernaut. What do you think of Joe the Juggernaut? What, Joe, Joe the Pucker, Pucker Guy's Juggernaut? Um, ah. Yeah, it's... I, I, yeah, he's not going to be able to run around very much, is he? He's going to probably, if he's playing in goal, eating pies, then that's about his limit. Well. well, Colin the Cat's in goal. Have you heard of Colin the Cat? Yeah, I've seen him. It's, uh, he seemed to, even in the uh, pre-match uh, video, he was dropping the ball all the time. So, um, yeah, I, no, no worries there whatsoever. Okay. I, I, Deadly Deadman, what about him? He's good on a bike. Is he? Uh, yeah, well, he's not going to make it on the pitch, and he can stay on the, on the sidelines just yeah. riding his bike. Yeah. Yeah, on the side, warming up. And um, Gio, he's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know, for an Italian, I, we'll, we'll, we'll get to see that. I'm, 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 not, I'm not too worried about that. And um, he's probably got the best, um, the best here background to be able to get on a football pitch, being Italian. But I say, he's not played any games yet, so who knows? You've got a stronger team, have you? Oh, yeah, we've got some uh, absolute crackers. Um, guys played semi-professional football. We've been out training all the time, healthy living. Um, we've got guys in uh, in Japan at the moment having some altitude training, and uh, well, you know, it, it's just the perfect preparation for us. Oh, Andy, good luck to you. All right, thanks, Lindsay. As you know, MTD have been challenged by Fanuc UK, and we have travelled to Fanuc in Coventry to find out about their secret weapon. Now, the game takes place on May the 8th. Now, Paul. What's going on here? You know, I've I've heard that you have a secret rep weapon. Are you the secret weapon? Uh, it might be me. It might be me, or you know, any of the other lads could step in as well. But who is the secret weapon? What is the secret weapon? You'll have to wait and see. You know, we've heard rumours that you have a robot in goal. Is that true? Uh, there's a couple of in contention, yes. Uh, but again, team selection, anything could change. Do you think that's fair? Of course. Why not? Well, you know, we've been talking to Andy Armstrong about your tactics and, and we believe that you know you're quite slow quite robotic across the whole field not just in goal no no we're, we're not slow we're, we're fast fluid uh, we work well together as a team so I think we stand a good chance how do you think that you're going to be MTD uh, teamwork uh, determination uh, most of all skill who's your best player probably me that's confident <laughs> yeah a little bit <laughs> so what are your tactics I can't reveal any taxes to you at this moment in time. And what player from MTD do you fear the most? Probably none. Seriously? No, nobody. Well, that complacency will probably work in our favour. You think it might, but uh, I think we've got enough in our locker to get the job done.